All right, guys, so this was the winner of my poll over on Patreon request for a fan fiction idea. And this one, since we are in officially sp uh, spooky season, spooky season starts April, you know, September 1st, almost said April. <laughs> it starts, it officially starts in September. Um, although with, uh, hollo you know, with Halloween being encroached on more and more by Christmas, I would dare say that, like, in retaliation, I think we should, st like, Halloween should officially start August, uh, like, late August, at the very least. We'll, uh, and by God, if, uh, and Christmas, if you keep encroaching on our, on our spooky territory, we'll take, I swear to God, we will take, <laughs> we will take all of August and encroach on late January. Don't test us. Sincerely, the people who love Halloween. Anyway, so I did a poll talking like over on Patreon. I did a poll asking like for what Universal Monster crossover would you guys want to see? I had all the crossovers with each one with a Universal Monster, and um, this was the winner. This was the winner. As you can see, it's Indiana Jones and the Mummy, which I haven't really. And it's going to be interesting because I'm not going to use the Mummy, you know, kind of. But as always, if you guys would like to be part of the polls over on Patreon, as well as check out movie reviews, uh, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, or you guys can hit the first tier, um, and you guys can be a part of polls uh, to help with video, to vote on videos for here on YouTube, as well as Patreon. And it also allows you to get access to movie reviews. I had just done my very late review of Guardians of the Galaxy 3, so if you want to check that out, go hit the link below. Um, but yeah, so let's get started with this crossover. So this story is, um, like I said, of the mummy, but not the one you're, not the Brendan Fraser mummy. Nope, we're going all the way back to the Boris Karloff era of the mummy. So, in here, this is going to be interesting. Um, so the story begins in, in the at the end of the Karloff movie. It begins at the end of the Karlo of the Boris Karloff movie where Imhotep had died. Um, his body had rotted and decayed back into just a pile of bones. But however, um, Emotep's body had been recovered by the Nubian, which was the uh, the servant that he had mind controlled into working for him. Emotep's remains were uh, taken, uh, were recovered by the Nubian who had survived. Um, he leaves. He leaves with his master's remains and uses a sacred spell in order to bring Emotep back to life. Um, in doing so, Emotep is now is now revived. But, however, he is va uh, he is in he is vastly depowered. He is now he is now he is he's lost a lot of his power, and he needs time to regenerate. But he thinks that there's a way he can do this faster. Like Emotep believes that there is a way he can he can do this faster. And once he's regenerate, and once he's fully empowered, he can go back to going after. Um, he can go. Out, uh, he can go back to trying to get Oxenamun to be his love again. But he first, he's like, first things first. I gotta, uh, you know, I gotta regenerate my uh, my uh, a bit my power again. So, in order to do that, he needs a uh, he needs something that's lost in Egypt. And that thing that is lost is a is no the since the scroll of Thoth is destro was destroyed. The thing he needs now is a is the book of the dead which it's going to be it's the fraser it's the fraser object but here it's going to be it's retooled for this story it's re, it's a retooled version so he needs the book of the dead in order and with it it how it houses thousands of spells and with it he believes that in those books of spells he can uh, he can not only get his power back but also get his lost love back so he sends the new and i hate using this name just calling him the nubian but that's literally what they call him and i hate that I don't, so i'm just going to call him the servant um so he sends his servant out into the world because he even he even emotep was like it was an it, it was from an age that even i wasn't from so i need you to go out and see what these uh what these englishmen are doing and find and see if you can find if they're tracking it and then report to me. So, the, so Emotep's servant goes out into the world 
and it begins looking through dig sites and whatnot. And sure enough, there is someone who is looking through a dig site, and that is Sala, who Sala has been has been part of a dig site with his men, but there's been very little progress in finding the Book of the Dead. Now, in order to help find the Book of the Dead, Sala has contacted Indy. And Indy's just like, Marcus, I... Uh, not Marcus. Sala, I had just... Um, I just did a whole thing with the with the Nazis and the and the Ark of the Covenant. I need I need a quick break from all of that, and I don't need to deal with top men again. But Sala's like, look, I need your help because there's still you know a Nazi presence in these in these lands, and what if they find what I'm trying to find, which is the Book of the Dead? So Sala is le so Sala convinces Indy to come back to Egypt, and during his dig site, among the people that they hire for extra hands is. Emotep's servant, and e and his servant is keeps reporting back to Emotep. Now, Emotep, curious about this, is like he decides to show himself, and you know, goes on the name of Ardeth Bay once again. He takes on that name. He encounters Indiana, and Indiana is just like this guy is weird. But in but uh, as Ardeth Bay, Emotep says that I am Ardeth Bay. I can you know, I am a historian of our people, and. I can help you find the Book of the Dead. He's like, and Indy's already like suspicious of of this Ardef Bay, but he's like, um, <laughs> but he's like, all right, and he tells Sala privately, like, hey man, keep keep your eye on this guy. I I, I trust him about as much as I can throw him. So they start digging around an area where Emotep believes where the, where what last was, and sure enough, they find the long lost Temple of Anubis. And within the temple, the group goes inside, but within it are hundreds upon hundreds of traps and ma other machinations that Indy and the other and the and the rest of the group have to, you know, survive in order to find the book. How uh, so? Several of of uh, of uh, workmen and even Emotep's servant even get killed among the traps until eventually they find the. Uh, the uh, altar of Anubis, where the Book of the Dead is, and it's this moment where Emotep claims the book and reveals himself as Emotep, and he's like, "Oh my God!" He, Indy's like, "Oh my God! I've been working with a mummy this whole time. Why me?" <laughs> so, using the book, Emotep uses it to restore his full power, um, and then he's like, "Then I shall have my my love, my lost love, and we shall spend our days in immortal splendor." But as for you, Doctor Jones, I see nothing but your death. And he tries some. He summons like a huge dog demons from the underworld. So Indy has to like fight his way through that until he can. He can. He has to like get to the. He and Sala have to get to the book. So the two of them like have to fight their way through Indy through Emotep's um, dark magic until they imagine. Until finally, Indiana grabs the book and yanks it out of his hand. And Emotep's even like, "Go ahead. I already have what I want. I you know." I already have claimed the power of Anubis. And he's like, no, 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 you didn't claim anything. You stole it. And you, uh, and that's when he reads a passage, uh, Indiana Jones reads a passage from the book, and, he, and Emotep's like, you did nothing. He's like, no, I called him and told him what you were trying to steal. So that, uh, so that spell was more of a summoning spell to call upon Anubis himself. And Anubis rises out of the underworld, grabs Emotep, and just like sucks him back down. And by the end of it, Indy and Sala are just like, oh, oh, shit, I never want to see this place again. So they hide the temple, and the book is left for top men. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much my Indiana Jones uh, mummy crossover. You guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of this? Uh, just comment below, let me know. And once again, like I said, I'd like to thank everyone who voted on the Patreon request for this. And uh, yeah, hope you once. Uh, and like I said, if you guys would like to be part of these Patreon polls, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, where you guys can hit the first here, and then you guys can start being a, a part of polls that, that are for videos for here on YouTube as well as there on Patreon. But other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.